Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about Python's tuple methods. So, what is a tuple again anyway? A tuple is an immutable sequence of values separated by commas and surrounded by parentheses. This is in contrast to a list, which is also a sequence of values separated by commas, but they're, separate, they're surrounded by square brackets. Anyway, tuples have two methods. Um, if you were to just run dir on the tuple, which I think we should do here, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's say we want to do dir on tuple, I'm going to choose the tuple function to create a duple. Uh, you can see here that uh, there are so many double underscore methods as that they don't even show up on the, on the screen anymore. So what I'm going to do is create a list uh, comprehension and just remove all those double underscore methods. And if you run that, you can quickly see that tuples have two methods and two methods only, count and index. So let's take a look at the count method. Um, the count method is used to count how many of the same um, object is in the tuple. So in this case, we can say count the letter A. The letter A is in there twice. We could say count B. It's in there four times, etc. Obviously, if the, cap if the letters were capitalized, it would count to them differently because a capital B and a lowercase b are not the same. Um, let's talk about the index method, because it's the only other method that we have at, at our fingertips with tuples. Um, here we have mytuple.index. This will tell us where in the tuple um, the first occurrence of the value is. So. The key here is that tuples start at, at index 0. So this first A is at index 0, next A is at 1, then 2, and 3, and 4, etc., etc. So if we count 0, 1, 2, the first index for B should be 2, which is what we see here. If we say C, we'll get 6 because there's 6 items. Well, there's not 6 items in the tuple, but there are 7 items, and the 7th item is at the index number 6. So when you hear about the term off by one error, that's what we're talking about because in Python, everything starts at zero, including, you know, so when you work with lists or tuples or dictionaries or sets or whatever, anytime you mess with that stuff, it starts at zero. All right, that's all I want to talk about today. I'll see you next time.